Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown Rarity Collection Bonanza Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to talk about Rarity Collection Bonanza. Do I know the cards that are going to be in the set? Probably not. I do know some cards, but we don't know all of them. Well, with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. So let's look at the confirmed cards we know in Rarity Collection Quarter Century Bonanza, which is coming out on November 8th, 2024. We expect, with 200 cards in Nostalgia, we're expecting Dear Bellstar, The Black Witch, House Dragon Maid, Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames, Super Polarization, Dark Paladin, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, and Drill Warrior, and other such cards, and other, possibly more cards, are expected in this set. I mean, we should expect, hopefully, if things go well, um, the entirety of the Snake Eye lineup and the entirety. So what ex what we should be expecting is some stuff from the Mega Tins there um, that we expect here. Possibly some Orca stuff like Galatea since we have Quarter Century that was revealed earlier on this year with some other stuff. So I expect quite a few things. Overall, this uh, Rarity Collection 3 is going to be quite special for the TCG. No matter what cards are in there, since they're gonna be 200 cards, whatever is in here is gonna be great. As we will, as when it, the set is fully revealed and we'll go to the, we'll go to 2025, what that'll mean is, is that Yu-Gi-Oh! will become affordable in 2025. I want you to imagine a world where the entirety of the Snake Eye core is cheap, that every single meta relevant archetype this year will be affordable next year leaving aside as amina as amina cards and the uh fiendsmith leaving aside as amina cards fiendsmith and the malchami cards along with the dominus cards you're gonna have every we should expect every single competitive staple from 2024 to be in this uh, in, to be in this Rarity Collection 3. So I'm very excited for Rarity Collection 3. Uh, otherwise, that is known as Rarity Collection Quarter Century Bonanza. And we're going to end the game, Yu-Gi-Oh! this year on a high note, as this will be the first time that we've had two Rarity Collections come out in a given year, as we only usually only have one, as we only had one last year. Now, I hope that this is a practice that continues on to 2025 and it mean, meaning that we will have two rarity collections coming out in a year, one early in the year and one late in the year. So that even when we will get the mega tins as well, that will mean that we will start off a year in TCG the next year, hopefully with Yu-Gi-Oh! being cheap and card prices being affordable as most of the cards will be reprinted of the previous year's meta scene so yeah that's all i've got to say let's uh move on and so i'll go to the overall conclusion and that's all i've got to say really about rarity collection 3 quarter century bonanza not much i've got to say here i think uh whatever cards are revealed to be in this set is going to be fantastic no matter what is revealed in this set it's going to be a win for the community a win for the tcg and for and including everything that tcg konami has done for us players and all the things all the mistreatment this is a great present that they can give to us to make the game affordable. This is the step in the right direction. I like where this is going. This is the sort of things we need to see more often from Konami. I'm very excited, I'm very happy. And this means going forward now, hopefully the price issue with Yu-Gi-Oh! will now be non-existent, especially starting on 2025. Sure, we're going to have expensive cards, 
but hopefully with Rarity Collection 3, what should happen is that you, you everyone will have access to Snake Eye cards, everyone will have access to the Ubel cards, and so the decks themselves are going, the meta staples themselves are going to be extremely cheap. So what is going to be expensive are just the specific engines and things like that. Which would be a first off, which would be something that would be quite new for the TCG. As usually the TCG, what usually happens is the previous year's competitive deck is usually quite expensive along with the staples, along with things like that. But if we do have two rarity collections in a year, and if and I hope, I pray that this, fingers crossed, that uh, two rarity collections becomes a common thing that we do every year starting 2024, that we continue this practice 2025, Konami, please do this, then I think we are going to be in the right direction. And one of the biggest issues that Yu-Gi-Oh! has, which would to do with price, will be a problem that will be fixed. And that shouldn't be an issue going forward. I hope that this practice of putting two rarity collections is a practice that is here to stay from Konami. And I hope that this is the way forward. Okay, that's all I've got to say for this and tune in next time as i'll talk about other topics and other things in Yu-Gi-Oh. i also want to say that next week there will be no uploads from me as i will be going to comic-con so expect an upload from me in november hope to see you soon we come to the end of this video so as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.